Allah says, وَلَا تَقُولَنَّ لِشَيْءٍ Don't you dare say about something, إِنِّي فَاعِلٌ ذَلِكَ غَدَاءٌ No doubt about it, for sure, man, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Don't say it about anything, like anything. Don't say, I'm going to do this and this in the future. For sure, man, I got it, I got it, I got this. I got this, inshaAllah. إِلَّا إِنْ يَشَاءَ الله. Except that Allah wills. That I'll do this for sure, except if Allah wills. That's the phrase that you should say. I'll do this if, unless Allah wills otherwise. In other words, I have full intention of doing this, and the only thing that will get in the way if Allah's plan is different from my plan. That is not under my control. That is the intention of saying, Inshallah, illa an yasha'Allah, unless Allah actually wills otherwise. Now when we say Inshallah, we say, I will do this if Allah wills. We say it in the positive sense too. If Allah wills, this will happen, but I'm making my commitment. But you know what we've done? We've taken Inshallah as the ultimate religious, I'm probably not going to do this. Translated, Inshallah. Hey brother, are you coming to the program? Yeah, Inshallah. Are you going to be able to make the deadline? Yeah, Inshallah, Inshallah. You say it twice, you know, it ain't going to happen. It's just, it's not going to happen. So we've turned something that's supposed to be a recognition that the future is not in our hands into something that's saying, I'm not responsible. I'm not responsible. And that's a joke. That is not how it's supposed to be. Muslims, وَالْمُوفُونَ بِعَهْدِهِمْ إِذَا عَهَدُوا They fulfill their promises when they make them. And if and when they get into an agreement, they stick to it. So if you have an agreement, you cannot just use inshallah to say, well, that's my way of saying, probably not. Don't do that. Don't use inshallah like that. However, you should use it in the correct meaning and, and, and with correct belief. And what, what is that? I'm going to do my best to make it to this meeting, to this appointment, to the class. And the only thing I, I can't control is the will of Allah. Because if Allah decides there's going to be a storm tomorrow, or my car is not going to start, or I'm not going to be healthy enough to wake up, I don't know any of those things. That is the mashiach of Allah. But to the best of my efforts, I will do this. And you know, and if you show laziness on your part, Allah didn't put any obstacles in your path in doing what you said you would do, and then you turn back and say, well, I guess Allah didn't want it to happen, then you know, and Allah knows, that you're playing games with His word. And this is not something we should do. This is not something we should do. So when we say, inshallah, it is not an acknowledgement that this might not happen. It is only an acknowledgement that things ultimately are in the hands of Allah, but we will do whatever we can to complete our word.